This is a purple play button I 3D printed because we have 50 subscribers because YouTube doesn't want to give me a play button. I'm just kidding. Uh, Mully622 here. Um, I've made purple play button because I wanted to. I mean, I'm not going to get a play button until I get 100,000 subscribers. Can't wait. Um, still, anyway, thank you guys for 50 subscribers. And because of that, I'm going to tell you 50 things that I like or that I have or whatever. So it's going to be top 10 cars that I've made, top 10 cars that I have, my five favorite drivers in Cup, Xfinity, and Truck. That's 35. My top 10 favorite tracks. 45. And then five tracks that I feel that should come back. And it's tracks ever, like all time, like Milwaukee or Gateway. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with our top 10, my top 10 favorite cars of all time. Now, this isn't like 1 through 10 or 10 through 1. These are just cars that I have, and I didn't want to sort them. Sort them. Number 24, Chase Elliott, Sun Energy 1, makes my top 10. This is a very well-crafted car by Lionel. It's got a great paint scheme, great job on it camera will focus yeah all right it's a great car that's why my top 10 i'll just put it there. the number 44 brian scott short um albertson's ford very nice car as usual 2016 i like it because it's just so it's super smooth it's just an, it's an all-around amazing car. Put it there. The number Jeff Gordon's Brickyard 400 inaugural Brickyard 400 win car. I got this off Plan B sales a while ago, and it's a nice. It's again, it's a nice car. I like how they're doing it. Part reminds me of Ricky Bobby, how like the end flared out and said I don't want to go fast. Anyway, great car. 224s. Number five, Casey Kane, Pepsi Max. That part's kind of ruined. Wasn't Lionel's fault. The next one is Lionel's fault. Um, great car as usual. And it's just so nice. It's just the fact that it was when they rushed their cars to make them. That's why there's chips in it. And that's the only reason why I don't exactly like it. Thirty-four farm rich car again. This one was Lionel's fault. They it got crushed somehow. So it looks like poor Chris Busher got wrecked and landed on the side. The other side is perfectly fine. It's just that this part was messed up. It's still an amazing car. I love it and. If it was in its original state, then I would love it even more. Tony Stewart's Oreo 33 car, 100th anniversary. This car is a nice car. Xfinity car, one of the only Xfinity, the only Xfinity, one of the only Xfinity cars that I actually have. It's a nice car. I love it. Oreo. Love Oreos, love Ritz. I could put, 40, I could put 44 on this one. Number 42, Clorox car. I put black on it because he wasn't a rookie anymore. I, I like this car. He raced it at Phoenix. It just doesn't have the blue bumper. It doesn't have the blue bumper that it has. But it's a nice car. You've seen it in some of my stop motions. But 
Love it. Ricky Rudd's number 88 Snickers Dark car. I tried to make a number 18 car out of this, but um, didn't work. So, next Tell Cup series. Fix, yeah, 2007. Right there. Just right there. 2007. Love it. Nice car. Then Mars went to Kyle Busch, and then Ricky Rudd retired. Only COT in this. The number 10 Valvoline Dodge Charger by Jock. No. Patrick Carpentier. That's what it is. Um, it's a nice car. I, it's a great car. Um, I like it because this scheme is fresh, not because it's a Canadian, but it's it, it's a fresh scheme. It's just that this part's a little weird, but, I mean. Yeah. And then Michael Waltrip's number 55, Aaron's Alabama 2013 car that he raced at Talladega. That's a mouthful. He nearly won this race, actually. Um, he finished fourth. And then that was his best finish at Daytona in Talladega in the, in the years. I like this car, as I said, and I keep saying I like this car. But, all right, those are my top 10 favorite non-custom cars that I have. Now getting on with the top 10 cars that I've made, um... Starting with number 71 of Luke Wallace, um, I made this car. I like it because it's nice and simple and fresh. It's a great car. It's one of my friends, and yeah, all right. Now, Gino Harvey's number 63, Aflac Chevrolet. One of the three cars that I've made him. No, four. Actually, I'm sending him a few of them. Um, still trying to work out the details of it. Yeah. I really like this car. I really like that I made it. Um. Yeah. And all these cars I have made are actually none of my original cars. So, except the 71. The 71 I made a while ago. This one... I made yesterday number nine William Byron USO and Liberty University Chevrolet. No, Toyota. He's going to Chevrolet in 2017. Um, I, I like this car. It's off the number 25 Casey Mears car. It's a it's a beautiful car. Somebody said it was quote lit. I don't remember who it was. Yeah, it was Spencer. And then. Explode Chris said it was, quote, one of my best cars that I've made, so, I guess. We. <laughs> this one, I feel, is one of my best ones that I've made, except for the last one. Number four, Bush Light Chevrolet. I need to reglue that. But it's, it's a nice car. I didn't want to make it out of that car because the original car, because I didn't like it. So, I made it all white with mountains, and then blue. I mean, let me know what you guys think of it, if it's better than the original one. The number 38, Landon Castle, Dockside, Ford, and his teammate, Chris Busher, who won the race in a Dockside car. These cars I made in the same day. I like this car, and I like this car, because... I spent some time on it. This one, this one I, I loved making. It's just that the yellow died halfway through and I had to get a new yellow, as you can see on the top. Spencer Tritz, number 72, Pepsi car for next year. One of my favorite cars that I've made. He said if it gets made into a real die cast, it would sell out. I guess it would. It's a nice car. It's got the Pepsi thing on the side and then it's black on the top. And then with the Pepsi globe there. Car. Messi 400 winner, Matt DiBenedetto. And I sized the template perfectly. 
enough said. Number eight, Eric Jones, number 81, GameStop Toyota, which will be made into the number 77 later. It's a nice car. It's on an old Dale Jr. car. And I like it because it's got the stripes. It's not the traditional car. And... And then my favorite diecast of all time that I've made is the number 44, Brian Scott, Shore Lodge, Ford. I, I made this on a Marco Sambro's car, and it's it's a great car. I love, I love making it, and I loved making it. It's just very superb. Alright, so this is kind of a visual thing, but it's my top five favorite Cup, Xfinity, and truck drivers. Coming in at number five for Cup is Brian Scott. I've liked him since the Xfinity and series, and I like him. Number four is Ryan Blaney. I just like the way how he drives, and he's a good driver, and he's a good kid. Number three, number three is... Um, AJ Allmendinger, I love AJ Allmendinger, I like his personality, I sometimes do my hair after what he does, but I didn't do my hair up today, um, he's a great driver, I like him, and that's why he's number three. Number two, Kyle Larson, I mean, love Kyle Larson, he's had the worst luck this year, I feel he can, I, I feel he can do it this year, so, go Larson, and then my favorite driver of all time is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, I, I like I like Jr. The first Cup race I ever watched, Dale Earnhardt Jr. won. I don't remember which one it was. Um, yeah. My favorite Xfinity drivers. Um, number five, we have Jeb Burton, number 43. I like Jeb Burton uh, when he was in truck, and I continued following him. Yeah, didn't have the best year. Uh, yeah. Number four, Justin Allgaier. I like drivers who drive for um, Junior Motorsports, and I like I like Justin Allgaier. When I, he, won at, he won at Montreal, which was one of my favorite tracks, so that gains respect for me. That's a really tough track. I wish they went back there. Um, number three is Alex Bowman. Even though he's kind of a cup driver, he's an Xfinity, which means he's third. Second is Brendan Poole. He's a great driver. I like him. I've, I liked him when I first watched him. And, but number one is, of course, Eric Jones. I, lo I like Eric Jones. One of my favorites. Now, truck drivers. Um, number five, we have Cameron Haley. He's Canadian, and I, li I like him. No, he's not Canadian. I don't know if he's Canadian. I, I like Cameron Haley. Just like his car. I like his driving style. Number four is Matt Crafton. First truck series year I started watching, Matt Crafton was on his first year of sweeping series so of sweeping the championships and back to back and Eric Jones came along yeah <laughs> um and Bubba Wallace is sixth in my Xfinity anyway number three which might surprise you it's William Byron because the top two I really like and William Byron just doesn't make the cut. Um, number two, Parker Klingerman. Love Parker Klingerman. He's my favorite. Spencer and I, our favorites. We wished him luck in Cup, and he never really did well. And number one is Ben Rhodes. He Ben Rhodes, nice guy. Like his driving and. All in all, my favorite truck driver of all time. Alright, now we're going to do my top 10 
favorite tracks as we are at 35 things that I have set that I have set in my 50 subscribers get special my 10th favorite track ever is Mazda Laguna Sega it I don't know where that is I think that's in California I like that track I like driving on it in um, Gran Turismo you guys probably thought I could actually drive on it I don't have my driver's license. Uh, what? Uh, alright. My ninth favorite track is Pocono. But I only like it because... I I like it because the IndyCar action is amazing. Cup action's okay. And then why did they bring back Xfinity? Number eight. My favorite is Rockingham. Now, uh, my home track would actually be Bowman Gray, but I'm half an I'm, I'm an hour and a half away from Rockingham, and it's two and a half to Martinsville, and then three to Charlotte. So, yeah, I kind of live in the middle of North Carolina. So, yeah. Um, my number six track is no ten. Now, number seven track is Phoenix. I like, I like Phoenix. I like the racing there. That spring race pretty much capped it off. I still think uh, Edwards should have won, and he won like twenty other races. Anyway, um, my number six track, I there number six um, is Atlanta, the repave. I heard they're reverting it back to the original oval, and it's going to be a flat oval. Like, not, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be a D-shaped oval, not with the tri-oval. But I'm, I heard they're going to make it a D-shaped oval and make it flat, which is going to make it awesome. That's just me, but whatever. Um... My number five track is Daytona. I mean, if you're an NASCAR fan, you kind of have to like Daytona. I mean, it's the first race of the season. So, my number four favorite track is Homestead Miami Speedway. I like Homestead. Um, it's great. Like, nice track. Um... I watched videos of it when it was, it looked more like Indianapolis. Those races were lit. Because it was banked all the way around, even on the, sh on the short shoot. That, that, those were lit. Uh, Alright, anyway. My number three favorite track is Circuit des Gilles of Villeneuve, which is Montreal. Best racing. Best races in Xfinity for that those years. Those were the best races ever. And then Mid Ohio came onto the schedule, and then it started raining. And then like, well, it's not gonna be Montreal. I watched that race. I'm like, eh, it's not gonna be Montreal. It was better than Montreal. It, I have to say that was better than Montreal. Uh, my two, number two favorite track, Martinsville. I, I like Martinsville, one of my favorite tracks. And then my favorite track ever, Gateway Motorsports Complex. I guess that's what they're calling it now. Favorite track ever. Loved Gateway. I love Turns 1 and 2. I even modeled Raleigh after it, kind of. So, yeah. Favorite tracks. Now, tracks... That should go on to the NASCAR schedule or come back to it. Mazda Laguna Sega. We need a road course there, and it's a nice track. It's NASCAR friendly. The only problem is that downhill S's, the downhill three-turn S's that are, like, really tight. I can't get through that in Gran Turismo. That, that's just me. Lime Rock Motorsports Park in Connecticut. They've hinted that NASCAR is going to be there because there's a Jeff Gordon poster in one of the turns. It's 
Jeff Gordon poster. But it's old. It's like 2011 Jeff Gordon. And then there's a 2014 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Diet Mountain Dew poster there. Yeah, so... What are you guys suggesting? That Lime Rock's gonna be there? They, they should race Lime Rock. That, that was an amazing race. For, um... Whatever it was. Um, Isma. That race was good. They need to bring back Rockingham, even though they probably won't. I'm sorry to say this, guys, but... Rockingham is in terrible condition. I'd say the grass in the front stretch hasn't been mowed for three years. It's about, like, a meter high, I think. Unless they want it, unless they cut it. Bring back Montreal. I don't care that there's disputes. We want Montreal on the schedule. Take out the second Pocono. No, don't do that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What would we do? Uh, crap. I don't know what we could do. Hmm. I'm going to spend here. I'm going to spend a long time. As I don't know what to move. Mm. I have... Not Kansas. Don't move Kansas. Uh, Kansas is actually a good race. Um, especially with the downforce package. That's going to be a good race. Move... Put it in the spot where Bristol is. Move Bristol back. And put it in the spot where Bristol is. And Bristol will take... Hmm. What, should, what date? Should, tell me down in the comments what date um, Montreal should take. Alright, because I'm spending too long on this. And then Gateway should definitely, 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 definitely come back. It's pro it probably will come back. It's probably going to come to the Cup. It's hinting that it's going to have Xfinity, and it's hinting that it's going to have Cup. It just needs maybe a little bit more stands? I don't know. But the people that say they don't need more stands are the people that say that Nazareth is in perfect condition. So... Anyway, thank you guys for watching my 50 subscriber thing. I hope that's 50, 50 things. Um, here's the purple play button. Again, um, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye. This is a purple play button I 3D printed. Because we have 50 subscribers because YouTube doesn't want to give me a play button. I'm just kidding. Uh, Mully622 here. Um, I've made purple play button because I wanted to. I mean, I'm not going to get a play button until I get 100,000 subscribers. Can't wait. Um... Still, anyway, thank you guys for 50 subscribers, and because of that, I'm going to tell you 50 things that I like, or that I have, or whatever. So it's going to be top 10 cars that I've made, top 10 cars that I have, my 5 favorite drivers in Cup, Xfinity, and Truck, that's 35, my top 10 favorite tracks, 45, and then... Five tracks that I feel that should come back. And it's tracks ever, like, all time. Like, Milwaukee or Gateway. And, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start off with our top ten, my top ten favorite cars of all time. 
Now this isn't like 1 through 10 or 10 through 1. These are just cars that I have and I didn't want to sort them. Sort them. Number 24, Chase Elliott, Sun Energy 1, makes my top 10. This is a very well-crafted car by Lionel. It's got a great paint scheme, great job on it. Camera won't focus. Yeah. 34, Farm Rich car. Again, this one was Lionel's fault. They, they got crushed somehow. So... It looks like poor Chris Busher got wrecked and, and landed on the side. The other side is perfectly fine, it's just that this part was messed up. It's still an amazing car, I love it, and if it was in its original state, then I would love it even more. Tony Stewart's Oreo 33 car, 100th anniversary. This car is a nice car. Xfinity car, one of the only Xfinity, the only Xfinity, one of the only Xfinity cars that I actually have. It's a nice car. I love it. Oreo. Love Oreos, love Ritz. I could put, 40, I could put 44 on this. Yeah. Number 42, Clorox car. I put black on it because he wasn't a rookie anymore. I, I like this car. He raced it at Phoenix. It just doesn't have the blue bumper. It doesn't have the blue bumper that it has. But it's a nice car. You've seen it in some of my stop motions. But love it. Ricky Rudd's number 88 Snickers Dark car. I tried to make a number 18 car out of this. But um, didn't work, so... Next L Cup Series, I think this, yeah, 2007. Right there, it's right there, 2007. Love it, nice car. Then Mars went to Kyle Bush. Cars that I've made him, no, four. Actually, I'm sending him a few of them. Um, still trying to work out the details of it. Yeah. I really like this car. Really like that I made it. Um, All these cars I have made are actually none of my original cars, so, except the 71, the 71 I made a while ago. This one I made yesterday, number 9, William Byron, USO, and Liberty University Chevrolet, no, Toyota, he's going to Chevrolet in 2017. Um, I, I like this car, it's off the... Number 25, Casey Mears car. It's a, it's a beautiful car. Somebody said it was, quote, lit. I don't remember who it was. Yeah, it was Spencer. And then Explode Chris said it was, quote, one of my best cars that I've made. So, I guess. We. <laughs> this one, I feel, is one of my best ones that I've made, except for the last one. Number 4, Bush Light. Chevrolet. I need to reglue that, but it's it's a nice car. I didn't want to make it out of that car because the original car, because I didn't like it. So I made it all white with mountains and then blue. I mean, let me know what you guys think of it. If it's better than the original one. Great car, that's why. why ten, I'll just put it there. The number forty-four Brian Scott short um Albertson's Ford. No. Very nice car, as usual, 2016. I like it because it's just so it's super smooth. It's just an it's an all round amazing car. Number Jeff Gordon's Brickyard 400 inaugural Brickyard 400 win car. I got this off Plan B sales a while ago, and it's a nice. It's again, it's a nice car. I like how they're doing it. Part reminds me of Ricky Bobby. How like the end flared out and said, "I want to go fast." Anyway, great car.
224s. Number five, Casey Kane, Pepsi Max. That part's kind of ruined. Wasn't Lionel's fault. The next one is Lionel's fault. Um, great car as usual, and it's just so nice. It's just the fact that it was when they rushed their cars to make them. That's why there's chips in it, and that's the only reason why I don't exactly like it. Uh, let's... And then Ricky Rick retired. Only COT in this. The number 10 Valvoline Dodge Charger by Jock... No. Patrick Carpentier. That's what it is. Um, it's a nice car. I, it's a great car. Um... I like it because this scheme is fresh, not because it's a Canadian, but it's it, it's a fresh scheme. It's just that this part's a little weird, but, I mean. Yeah. And then Michael Waltrip's number 55, Aaron's Alabama 2013 car that he raced at Talladega. That's a mouthful. He nearly won this race, actually. Um, he finished fourth. And then that was his best finish at Daytona and Talladega in the, in the years. I like this car, as I said, and I keep saying I like this car. But, all right, those are my top 10 favorite non-custom cars that I have. Now getting on with the top 10 cars that I've made, um... Starting with number 71 of Luke Wallace, um, I made this car. I like it because it's nice and simple and fresh. It's a great car. It's one of my friends, and yeah, all right. Now, Gino Harvey's number 63, Aflac Chevrolet. One of the three 